Hi, and welcome to the Friday episode of Stop Chasing Skinny, just a bite-sized bit of information. Today's topic is about age. Today's my birthday. I am 37 years old young. I know, I know, whenever I was like 27 and then saying, oh, you know, I'm turning 30, people are like, oh, you're such a kid. And I know st- people still say it because it's all about reference point, right? But a lot of things do start to happen and I have to talk about, um, you know, I haven't, I haven't really noticed much, honestly, other than I have to warm up longer. That's the biggest thing for me. I can't push my body the same way that I used to push it. My energy isn't the same. Um, but in terms of how my body responds to the activities that I do, to the nutritional changes that I make, um, that part hasn't changed. I'm super, super grateful and probably a little bit lucky for that. But a lot of it is because I've been doing this for a really long time. Um, so I think it's really interesting that, you know, people when I was in my 20s, they were like, well, wait till you get to 30. And then I hit 30 and they're like, well, just wait until you get to like 35. And then I got to 35. So now 37, I know it's only two years, but um, I'm sure things will start changing and my hormones will change. And then I'll be like, oh my gosh, it is happening to me where it's harder to maintain my weight. And I'm sure I'll share that with you. But for today, I wanted to talk about what you can do to age gracefully. Um, So like I said before, I've been doing this for a really long time. And by doing this, I just mean that I have been involved in physical activities as well as trying to eat healthfully. At least I've been mindful of it. Um, You know, it wasn't quite the best earlier in my life, but I did eat plenty of veggies right along with all that other stuff I was eating in mass quantities. And that's important. That's really important because all of this nutrition, that's building blocks for your cells. And so I want to, I, I want people to understand that you need to have those building blocks. That's what keeps your health, your cells healthy. It's not just about how much can I take away from my body. You have to think about what you're putting into it too. Um, I see people who think, oh, it's just a 100 calorie snack pack. Like I, it, that's just a package of chemicals. You would be much better off just eating, you know, something that is, made with real stuff, um, homemade without all of the chemicals. So it's not just about, oh, can I just decrease the number of calories that I'm eating? And that's not the point. Um, you have to provide nutrition. And that nutrition also includes fat. So fat really helps you to age well too. It helps with he- the health of your cells, the cells that you see, the cells in your brain. It helps with organ function. It's really important. So going super low fat is not the way to go. Um, it also helps with the hormonal health because all of your hormones are derived from cholesterol. So if you go super low fat and you decrease all of the cholesterol in your diet, Diet, then that could impact your hormone levels because, like I said, all of your hormones are derived from cholesterol. The problem with cholesterol is that um, when they cut the heart open, I know I'm going off topic, whatever, this is what these are for. Um, so when they cut the heart open back at, I think it was the 80s or something like that, to see heart health and why we were having heart attacks and the you know plaque buildup and the cholesterol. And so what they noticed was there was a bunch of cholesterol that was all in these arteries. And so then they said, oh, cholesterol must be terrible. Cholesterol is the enemy, so decrease the cholesterol. Well, the point of cholesterol, the cholesterol's job is to patch up any kind of little holes. So when you're doing damage to your body, and damage is inflammation, by the way. Inflammation is damaging your body. Um, then that cholesterol is just doing its job by patching up those holes. So you can see here that the point is to decrease the inflammation And then cholesterol won't have to do so much of a job of patching up all of these holes. So it's not really cholesterol that is the problem. It is inflammation that is the problem. So what is causing inflammation? Um, Tons of foods that we eat. Anything that is um, all that sugar stuff that causes inflammation. Stress causes inflammation big time. 
Um, so you can see, and alcohol, alcohol causes inflammation, any kind of toxic chemicals that you're putting into your body too, including those 100 calorie snack packs that causes inflammation. So you can see why inflammation has been kind of the target more recently. I think they're kind of wising up to it. Um, but I don't know that everybody understands that whole connection. So Inflammation has something to do with how you age as well. I also read a study. I wish I could find it and put it in the show notes, but I don't know where it went. Um, it was saying that the inflammation that we can do, the damage that we can do to ourselves from consuming too much sugar can actually cause more wrinkles than smoking or being in the sun. Isn't that crazy? So it really comes down to nutrition. It's not just about how few calories I can eat. Is this food good? Is this food bad? Take that moral judgment out of the food. Think about it as how it's fueling your body. Is this going to cause inflammation? Is this going to be able to give building blocks so that my body can repair itself the way that it needs to repair itself? Um, Because that's what it does. That's how it gets over illness. Medications don't actually fix us. They usually give us the ability to fix ourselves. And so that's what the whole nutrition comes down to. So back to the aging thing, that's huge, 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 because when you're eating well, you're helping your hormonal health. And eating well doesn't just mean cutting out fats. Like fat is not bad. You have to have some fat. Um, And so it helps you age well. It helps to provide nutrition. It helps to, uh, depending on how you eat, you can decrease your inflammation. Um, This decreased inflammation doesn't just help with wrinkles. It helps with joints. It helps with obviously your physique, right? Um, Yeah. So those are kind of the things that I wanted to talk about. Why you know, I, why, why aging isn't a bad thing. We all do it. It's how well we do it. Um, how important nutrition is, how important movement is, and it's okay if you can't kill it every day of the week like you used to be able to. I can't. Um, I just can't. And the the great part is that you don't have to. And the other really cool thing is that as you age, um, the body fat that you have like right under your skin, like the um, subcutaneous level, I'm guessing is what it is, um, that will decrease a little bit, right? And so that's what ends up making us look a little bit older in our faces. But the really cool part about that is that it kind of decreases all over our body. And so you do start to see muscle definition just a little bit easier or better as you age. So that's something to look forward to, right? So that's it. It's my birthday. Um, I hope you guys don't hate me because it's on tax day. Sorry. I know. I had to do it too. Um, But yeah, aging isn't always a bad thing. And the compound effect is in full effect. So keep moving. Keep eating well. It does make a difference. 